very, very good single-player shooter. But it was more on the arcade side of things. This one pretends to be a little bit authentic, although it's still very Call of Duty action hero-esque. Just a little bit less scripted nonsense. And even in the scripted sequences, there's actually quite a few times where you're not really held by the hand. Every now and again, you can't open the door until someone does, but most of the time, they seem to have moved away from that, so I've got to give them props for it. Now, if there's anything that's really throwaway about this game, unless you just want to treat the idea of a World War II shooter these days being throwaway in terms of concept, it's the fact that the game has a very forgettable multiplayer mode that was really obviously last minute and not thought through. It's only got four maps and about three game modes, and there's really nothing within the multiplayer mode that I would point to as being revolutionary in any way, or more to the point, actually just good, you know? 